Teach them we'll never let it go. Teach them. Teach them we'll never let it go. Teach them. I've got to hold on every day, in every way. Listening to teach them in every way. I am here vibing with one of the mainstays in root track reggae music. His parents named him Philip Fraser and today he shares his story. Great man. Yes sir. Yeah, All is well sir? Yeah man, respect. It's a joy man, it's yeah, a joy. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! I teach them and let them understand that you are the general, the number one. Teach them. I hey. You yeah, man, Philip Fraser and Darcy you know. Teach them. Make them know and see and read and listen and understand. Say, so, teach them. I do the thing. You hear that? Sir Fraser, mm. so all is well. Yeah, man, it's a joy for city man. Yes, I. Talk to us though, early life, place of birth. Maxil Avenue. <laughs> Maxil Avenue? Yeah, man. Yeah? Which part yeah. of Maxil? Pretoria Road, you Pretor know. Sound like a Whitfield. Whitfield, sir. Yeah, Whitfield. Whitfield Maxil, Whitfield. Oh, Whitfield. Yeah, okay. man. Oh, cool, yeah, man. man. I grew up in a Greenwich Farm. Oh, you know? so you never spend no time at, at Maxil? No. Oh. You live from your baby, but I know she had death from a bird place. Yes, you're born. Yeah. But basically, a uh, uh, Greenwich Farm. Greenwich Farm are the place where I grew up. Yeah. I'm a place that. You grew up in our music then, Father? Yes, sir. Yes, man. We soon come to that part then. How many brothers and sisters? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Count them your nose. It's all like I know, Father. Yes, yeah, because <laughs> different father right. and all them so there. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah, yeah. We call it about five, about five. sisters and about seven brothers, you know? Mm, okay. And all your siblings are still are still with us, are still around? Yes, man. One of my little brother, my last one, my little brother, a couple of years ago now. Pass on. Yeah. Oh, my condolences, reader. Yeah, man. Mommy and daddy pass on as well? Definitely. Definitely. Condolences yeah. again, reader. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Where did you attend school, though? Go to Denham Town School and um, Holy Trinity School. Denham Town and Holy Trinity? <laughs> oh, cool, <laughs> man, cool, man. What was it like growing up? Back then, though, Father Fraser, financially. Well, a poor family, you know, can we sing about all them things there, you know? <laughs> I was born and raised in a poor family. Yeah, man, you know. So, it, it is rough? Yeah, man. The life of living wasn't easy, you see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's sweet like a syrup with a little lively like it's Father Fraser. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? So, growing up in Greenwich Farm, though, how or when you kind of start feel a musical vibration there? Well, watch this now. I grew up with some great youth, you know. Although, all on them. <laughs> yeah. And at time, I grew up with youth like Earl Chinna Smith. Chinna. Where a youth, they're one of the greatest because young guitarists in true, Jamaica. True, true, true. Apart from Ernest Wrangling and them people. You know what and the next version named Earl Zero. Earl Zero. In the right, the biggest tune for Johnny Clark, non shall escape the judgment. You know what I'm So, as some of you grow up, them two men they now love guitar. Mm. Because they make for them guitar out of sardine pan. The sardine pan, when you take out the cover, yeah. nearly tamp and piece of board. Mm. And fishing line, because you know where they near Greenwich Farm. Right, beach. fishing, yes. Yeah, and I saw them make for them guitar. And them play the and night, and all me do is sing the and night because <laughs> me just love to sing. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, who, who were some of your early musical influences, though? The people when you listen and say, yo, you know what they want? Do what a person they're doing in the future? Well, it's two persons I really love, love, love in the music. I don't care nobody wants it. One of them, I grew up with. And see him. The next one's a foreign artist, mm -hmm. which is Sam Cook. Okay. I see the man there of the best voice. Him and a man named Slim Smith when we grew up in a Greenwich farm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
We are talking about Slim Smith and Ali Clark. Yeah, man, I sit down and watch them man they sing day and night and say, Father, boy, I'm going to come like that man. Your own voice so sweet. Yes. Yeah, man. I think, though, your dad <coughs> was involved in the entertainment space. He used to be a dancer. Yes, man. Sparky. Sparky. I'm still alive, you know. But when I tell you about the passing, you come in a era like Peter Touch. I don't know. If you know about Peter Touch history, as a man, we have two fathers, I don't shame for saying oh, that. Oh, yeah. that's not what I said. Yeah, because it's not a joke in the world. I don't know so where that thing that thing come from. Oh, yeah, man, I yeah, don't you know where But <laughs> when I do the research, because yeah. I couldn't ask my mother, because that big people think that I don't believe in that. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> but when I do my research and check it out, like Sparky, I'm my real father. Because every turn I turn, every move I make, every month, say, boy, you did stamp on him, and all my brother, them, on the film side, it's like, you know what I'm yeah, so, 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 the dad that you were given to as pass, but Definitely. Sparky, you yes. feel like the real elder? Good question, oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, I am. Yeah. This is what I go around. Definitely. But Sparky <laughs> had a dancing partner, Pluggy. Pluggy, Pluggy Pastor. Oh, Pluggy Pastor. Yeah, 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 so, so, look at the, the, the musical. Thing in the jeans are forward down then, man. Yes. Because yes. Sparky was a big dancer about that. Yes, man. man. Top dancer, then, man, when me a little boy, man. Tell me I go a whole for show, man. Oh, I mean, so carry your. Yes, man. Uh... Can we remember, man? Yeah, man. Okay, Mr. Walker. How are you on birthday, too, you know? I think. April, March, April. You almost see April, I want them there, man. I'm 90th birthday. 90th birthday. Yeah, yeah, man, because I live in England. You know? Oh, cool, man. Cool, cool, cool. So. Father Sparky mm -hmm. kind of have some of the, the music in him, and you said Slim Smith, because yes. Slim Smith was older than you. Yes, but, man. But he yeah, used man. to be around. Yeah, man. I'm but, a singing influence that I Slim, Slim Smith, Smith, apart from Sam Cooke, I tell you about. But we right. have Slim first before yes. Sam, me, me listen to Sam. We're going to talk about Slim a little bit more, because I mean, Slim played an important role in the journey. Yeah. Early on, you, whilst you know, loving the thing and developing the thing. You started entering some, some talent shows. Definitely, with a brethren named Tony Mark. Tony Mark. Tony Mark was a bigger man for me. In the demos, Bonnie Striker League. Oh, okay. You understand? So he knew the thing. So he knew to take me like to Bohemia. Bohemia Club. Kitty Matt and all those clubs. You know, me to work with Johnny Clark, Mighty Diamonds and you understand? Yeah. For me, really, when I a talent show, you know, I was a man who really listened to some different music. I sing a tune named Wildflower by the Skylark. Everybody said, Look, boy, I sing that tune and manage it the same way. And I saw me come to win some of them talent shows there, boy. Yeah, so who were some of the people that I beat out in time there? Mighty Diamonds and Johnny Clark? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. Because <laughs> as, as a youth? As a youth, because my bridge no knew Tony Mark, trim right, everybody. Right, right, and right. he carry around everybody, you understand? But that is young way. Mm. I could come across. To win them show the by singing them tune because them youth never that thing no foreign show. Right, right. And I tell them, I say, boy, I free yourself right now. <laughs> this thing I'm not joking. Now. Yeah, man, you have to up the thing. Yeah, man. Yes. The first sound that you, 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 you started around was Echo Vibration. I do hmm. that sound before Echo Vibration. <laughs> Well, you know me, it's true. It don't look like, man. It don't look like. Yeah, because we actually know. Echo Vibration was a Greenwich Farm sound where people like Peter Rankin, General Lucky, Michigan yeah, and Smiley, right. you understand, then Sammy Dredd and Sam Rock, right. you understand, yes. all the Greenwich Ramps in them, because a Greenwich Ramps sound. It's the first man I see keep a session in a day where I can remember. I never see session keep a and day. Then time, night session keep. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I said echo vibration around such a night day. Yes, man, day and it rum. Yeah? Rum, I tell you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so echo vibration was his first song you yeah. start. Own your skills and, and, and test out your voice. One definitely, song, yeah. definitely. Mm, so all yeah. that developed now, the musical journey. For, for, for well, it developed a way now where um, my corner where me come from, a Greenwich farm, named Cornerstone, Corner which would be Oh, a musical label yeah, name too. As yeah. you said, that it kind but, of click, you know. Yeah, yeah man. But I can't have to sit down the a night, like we say, we sit down there. Right. Like, go to water, run a river, and bimba, man. You understand? So it's like coming back to Tony Mac now, half of the talent business and them something right. now. And Ken, you know, and the echo vibration thing now. I'm saying, but tell me something. 
You can't do the recording, you know. Who we don't know about that? I say recording, you know, we are talking about two of them. Recording. <laughs> I say yes, all now for do is buy a two-track tape, then find a two-track tape. Two-track, you know. right. You make a mistake, anybody make a mistake, I will start back all over again. And I said, but we don't know nothing about that. Anyway, my virgin now, we deal with the producing side name, Mr. Brown, that I live named Freedom Soul. Virgin Same place I've been trying to, you know the thing. Him did a work at Rio Neville. I said, so, man, some money then, man. Yeah, so him sponsor the thing and buy the tape. Well, Earl Chinna Smith now, with Santa Davis, Tony Chin, them form a band now on Nine Street named the Soul Syndicate Soul Band. Syndicate. Which is one of the greatest bands with some little youth. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what I said, Tony Mac has a big man and everything. So I'm saying, right, book the show that time by the tape, Soul Syndicate Band, I got us come in and wherever. And I think a dynamics are federalized, one of them places we go. I'm booked the show that time. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. I'm going to do my first recording, a song name, this, this time. time. Yeah, man. Mm, but about 73, yes, 74? Yes, definitely. So this time was... How oh, old oh, were you at the time, though, Father Fraser? How oh, well, old was? Yeah. Mm. Are you? <laughs> uh, to kind of remember, but I feel like me in about in my 20s. In a, okay, in my 20s. 20s. And I said this yeah, time man. was the first. Yeah, my first, first record. Yes. Well, and it was released? Yes, man. Yeah? Yeah, man, from the same label, Freedom Song. Freedom Song. That's how the youth start right. the label. Because you were instrumental in... Because when, when I do the research, it says Freedom Songs was found by Bertram and yeah, Philip man. Fraser. Yeah, man, how we started, so man. Yeah, man, how we started. Yeah, yeah man. Be a couple lines out at this time, now. This time won't be like the last time. This time won't be like the last time. Ever since you went away, there's only sorrows. That's why I'm moving way out of sight. I watch this now. <laughs> it's not so now. Yeah. Well, you that song that come from it now. You know you have your little girl and things coming <laughs> up and <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But our people them ship her out be oh. gone and left me now with no girl again, you know. <laughs> And I saw me write my first song. This and time won't be like the last time. won't be like the last time ever since you went away. There's only sorrow. That's why I keep <laughs> on <laughs> yeah, At this time you started embracing the Rastafarian faith? Yes, because um, as I said to you, we just sit down day and night, read Bible, smoke pipe, you understand, and see the reality and the fullness of life. And mm. so most of the things they already go to school and them tell me. Say, Jerusalem in the sky and this day and that day. So, when we read for ourselves and understand, we see all of these things that on earth, mm. in Africa, on earth. You know? So, that was our pleasure. Not like them youth, you know, where they get up in the morning, they go very, very tater. You know me at that book. Our things when we get up, you understand? We go to Tinsopen, we play football, our table tennis, and all them something, and run and very, very. And music, read Bible, smoke pipe. <laughs> Yeah, we don't do no, no violent things. Yeah, so, so most of our spiritual lyrics them come across yeah. and we see what they sing about. And then them time they had to be a raster man about around yes, the place, I. man. Yes, I. So yeah, it, was, it was natural for you to, to add up and embrace the vibration there? Definitely. Mm. You know. Whilst you did, this time you did songs like Mr. Mr. Bluebird. Bluebird man and yes, man. that led into an album. Yeah, Mr. Bluebird was the second song and mm -hmm. um, our next song named Single Man. Single Man? Yes. Okay, the single <laughs> other one. So yeah, Single Man, man. Mm -hmm. Single Man and, and, and Mr. Bluebird. Yeah. So those were the follow-up songs to this so, time. This time, yeah. So that led into the creation of an album or not? Well, those tunes didn't come on the album, you know, but oh. it, it led into the album. Same freedom sound, our album name, Committee Opian. Committee, oh, so My those songs led into Committee Opian. Yes, but they, they wasn't on the album. The album is a spiritual, a spiritual album. Spiritual album. Root song. Oh, okay. Cool, man. Mm. So this time now, these and all three songs were released and I get, yes, man. I get some love in our street. Yes, man. Oh. And we realize that we can do more things, more things, so, so the album does come about now. Right, okay. So, while Freedom Sounds now, I say Mr. Bertram Brown and, and um, Mark, 
Tony Mark? No, Tony Mark was not Freedom Sound. Tony Mark was just an elder that gave us advice. Okay, so Bertram Broad and, and I and I is Freedom Sound. Freedom Sounds. And, and at that time, you guys were doing production now for people like Earl Zero. No? Yeah, Freedom Sound recorded right. Earl Zero. Sammy Dredd. Sammy Dredd, Prince Allah. Taylor, Prince Allah. Yeah, all of those people. You understand about Michael he, Prophet. He didn't start everything. Mm. Yeah. And, and the Soul Syndicate band was the band now where definitely back all, all, all the recording, there. yes. Until we start with Tubbies now because we stop go to Dynamics to lay with him now. We go to Channel One. Channel One. So when we lay with him, the my Channel One now. It's Tubbies now we go up vice to get that right writing sound, but we couldn't lay no rhythm at Tubbies because. The place is too small. Oh, so the rhythms are really that channel, channel one, one and the voice in. Why? Tubbies, Tubbies had no. the sound? Tubbies have the sound. Oh, and them time you know, count on it still look at you. Scientist was the engineer on a Tubbies. I practice half everything where we do. So experiment. I saw him become self the name the scientist. That's my experiment. Ex definitely. Because more time Tubbies take because Tubbies are. I fix I um, speak things. around this and I do this and I do this because I know he's a genius, you understand? So scientists come in and then Jamis was there too, learning oh, trade. Jamis was there as well? Yes, man. Mm. Yeah, man. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, man, but scientists <laughs> is the youth Scientists is the youth. I tell you, please. Yeah. And they touch some things and like that song that does work. Mm. You also was instrumental in the formation of Roots traditional label. Greenwich Farm again, yeah. My first big show. That was Dan Mears. Yeah, man. I will never let go. I mash up the whole world. Oh, at, at Dan Mears, I will never let go. We soon talk about I will never let go. <laughs> Slim Suit, I will tie up back in and down. Yes, yes. Right? So you will yes. help Dan Mears to create that label. Definitely. After Freedom Sounds with Birch and Brown. Yes. He's a label creator, man. Yes, man. <laughs> Then now you also help in the Kana creation of Stone. Kana Stone. Definitely. And Kana Stone with Michael Chin and Tyro and Healy. Healy. Yeah. Yeah, man, doing tune like Bad Boy, the blood that we see to uh, tear down the whole place again in Europe. Mm -hmm. Yes, man, you know me, I say. I will go from there and I do all the album for them to and things. And I do say, I hear me, I introduce all of the youth them to this thing and now. So I go have my one alone. We don't reach this yet, Father, Father, please. <laughs> <laughs> Slim Spit now became your friend, your party. Yes, because in baby mother, did live at Greenwich Farm, you know. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm dead there regular. And true, me and her brother them. Link up? Was, yeah, so me come for no slim. Uh, one of the greatest yes, voices. Yes, and they the were rehearsing the in the yard and I go, go take them in all the while and Ray Ray and you know, see it. So I come close to him now. And, you know. Yes, in 1973, I think, Slim, mm -hmm. slim died. Mm -hmm. yeah, them time. A lot of things have been said around the passing of Slim. And you would have heard some of the story. What is your recollection of the, 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 the circumstances leading up to Slim Smith's death? Well, to be honest to you, you know, I hear say his lizard tail them cut up now weed and game. I don't know what that, but I know says a man who smoke hard. Mm. He smoke hard, be, you understand? And as I say, at that me here, Animal Bonnelly, which right, I'm Right, because we hear the Bonnelly part of the situation. Yeah. Conversation. Carry him round and Ray Ray and yes, and must just go leave him at the yard. Them no care I'm going to the hospital. Them care I'm going to leave him at the yard as far as I hear. And it's like, him claims him to somebody at the door, the glass door, and, and, and thump out the door and... Put up him. Yes, and bleed to death, you know, before anybody could have come and see, you know. Sad situation, man. Yeah, you know. One of the great man. Yes, man. Greatest voice that me say come out of Jamaica. Greatest I love voice, Dennis Brown, you know. Philip Fraser. Yes, man. Say, a Slim Smith out of Jamaica. Yes, I, the greatest voice. Come listen to all of the voice them be. Yeah, and a Slim at the one yes, where, man. where you love the most. Yes, man. I'll tell you. That profound, eh? Yeah, man. That profound. So, Slim Smith, we say past 73 you now. We all talk about some of the, some of the early big songs in, a, in, in a the journey. Mm -hmm. We know the first one was this time followed up by a single man and then mm -hmm. Mr. Bluebird. Then we have songs that come through like You Are No Good. Mm -hmm. They did that for, for Dan Mears. Mm -hmm. I think about 76 a song though. Mm -hmm. a song like Moses. Yeah man, spiritual song. Moses, Moses, Moses Take up thy shoes from off thy feet 
for the place where thou stand is holy ground. As me I say, we'll read Bible, Bible you know, so right, we right. put all these things. So the Bible was a lot, provided a lot of the inspiration. Yes. Yeah. So a lot of the inspiration back then came out of From the Bible. reading the Bible. Yes, I. Mm. Mm. Come Ethiopians, 1978. Hmm. Big song. Big, big song. Before we talk about Come Ethiopia, <laughs> I think that, that song was done and a rhythm that Rod Taylor did, Ethiopian Kings? Definitely. Rod Taylor laid the rhythm. Oh, Rod Taylor laid the rhythm? Singing Ethiopian Kings. Ah. And when I hear Rod Taylor song, for the same freedom song, you know, when I hear Rod Taylor song, I say, <laughs> as I'm only a read by, I have to find something and put on that rhythm here, you know. Come Similar to them things, you can't put a joke on it, you hear Rod Taylor right. sing about. And I do so come to open and come fill up and read him and fit the read him. Beautiful lines out there, man. We don't add the song to the people. Come to open and come, we live in Babylon. Come to open and come, we go into Mount Zion, where we can get some rest, some peace and love inside. Then we will see no more wicked man to rob. <laughs> but we said that something after that because that I go on, we don't want to see no more wicked, wicked man, man be. Mm. You know what I said? It's the earliest advice, so like syrup with liquid lime. But it's sweet and not. But it's right? advice, sweet like yeah. pure syrup okay. with liquid lime and okay. some ice cube. Cold yeah, man, man definitely, sweet. man. Because I have to keep this, you know, because I'm a tool list, be, you know. Tool list. Yeah, so I'm going to play with this. <laughs> You're going to play with this. Yeah. That's good, man. Not even for one for all me, I turn up the people, you hold me around my throat. Don't throw it to one. Okay, I'm sure. It's a dangerous place that we show for Adam Fraser. Earth and Stone. Yes. You, you guys did an album together? Yeah, man. For um, Buster Riley, which is um, Technic's brother, Winston Riley, Riley brother. brother. Yeah, man. Oh. Yeah, man. <laughs> that album was called Back to Africa Together. Back to Africa, yeah, man. So it was, it was you knew of them being on the album and your voice some song and, and, and um, Riley put this, the album together. He put it together and I never oh. behold them, you know. So that's one of the albums that I released a yard, yeah? Well, I mean, I tell you, I don't know because in them time, they're like, when the man them record that, it's everybody just go out and go release the things. True money business. Who can't stop that sale because right. you put out your money. So right, so you want to make up some money. Yeah, but them not things say, boy, I make release it on a Jamaica my people here, say Philip Fraser, whosoever I go on. You understand? Mm. So it never release a Jamaica. So it never release a Jamaica? No, B. So back to Africa One show, together. yeah. One show. Back to Africa release. But oh, the album, but the album wasn't released. Know, no, no people don't know say, me and Earth and Stone there. Yeah, for an album. Yeah, for an album. Mm. So that was released at UK side, England side? Definitely. Yeah, man. That's so I go on. That's so I go on. Okay. In 1979, now, one of the one of the marquee songs in, in, in the career, you did a, a cover of Slim Smith song. Mm -hmm. Many people probably not realize that uh, Slim do the first version. Yeah, man. No people up to today, dear people, not know because watch this now. Slim one was on an album. Cox never released him one and a 45 until my one release. Oh. But I said, show me listen Slim every day. And I said, me, I said, bing bam, that show now. And my brother said, yes, yeah, Philip Fraser. Are you an artist you now? Come back and do that show now, because big show. But I want to get a better joke. You saw me do the show, we lay the rhythm, Soul Syndicate, go to the Tubby's Vice, the show. Oh, Soul Syndicate lay the rhythm? Everything from them time, they appear Soul Syndicate. Me. Okay. And I understand. When me go to Tubby's and Vice to show now, we are played back in them. I said to my virgin Dan, I said, Yo, you know, so I don't like the Vice for it. <laughs> because, like, me I sing flat. He said, Keep yourself quiet in a warm pier. The tune, bad. And I said, But you know, my pitch up the Dan, I said, You know, your pitch up there. The tune is bad. And you hear me, King. So we make the test press and we will carry the tune, man. Right, and yeah. peer problem, you know. And the song that we are talking about is yes, Never Let man, Go. Never Let Go. And the song prisoner, man. You see when sound play it? If a sound ching up and a play that, it makes sense to sound ching up. And That's you have to play it all a hundred times. And every singer, every DJ, one piece of the rhythm bar. Right, it because can't come that rhythm off. became a major rhythm a in the industry. Man. Yes, man. 
I say we body start lick it now and lick it right, different. Right, right. You understand? And so syndicate responsible for yes, the Yes, man. But nobody never know a slim one until my one now become big now. Mr. Dad now release him one now for a 45 and people realize, say, well, that's who the one. Man, drop that catch there. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Mm. So that was one of the songs now where really and truly established yes. Philip Fraser yes. locally. as a force to be recognized locally. 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 So it sounds like some things that are going across the waters before that. Yeah, man, we come to Ethiopia and blood at the same and them tune the world. Oh, so we have seen the release are before Never Let Go. Yes, or man. I thought that album came after, you know. Well, the album, but the single. But the single. The single. Oh, yeah, the single. see, I learned well, learn anything about yeah, that phrase. Yeah, man. Never let go, you know. Beg a couple lines out of that, no, because uh, that's a big song. Yeah. I will never let it go. I will never. I will never let it go. I will never. I've got to hold on every day. In every way, but the things you would say just couldn't be that way. You'll never ever reach if you don't try. Instead, you keep on telling all those dreadful lies. Just wait and see how things would be. Yeah, man, never let go of that. Man. Yeah, I took this to, 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 to a syrup and lime and ice. Look at rum, man. Rum punch, you have to do it today, you know, man. <laughs> Sweeter than them. Sweeter than that. Yeah. yeah. Blood of the Saints, it says, say is another song that did really well in, in them time, before yes, the album man. came. Yeah, man. Who your voice that song for? Cornerstone. Cornerstone. Yeah, oh, so that was the next label now. That was uh, Michael yeah, Chin and, and, yeah. and Healy. And Tyrone Healy, yeah. Oh. And then, in that same time, I did a song now where run close behind Never Let Go for a virgin named Barry Clark, Afro Eagle label. A song named Please Here. Mush up the Please place stay. again, yes. You actually do a video for Please Stay. Yeah, man, from diseases with him. Pam, pam, badam, pam, yap, yap. Girl, I love you and I don't want you to leave me. Please stay, hey, 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 baby, hey, hey. Girl, I love you when I need you to be my bride. Yeah, man, them tune the crystal. Oh, it's not. Please see the, the thing, man. I think it's a dream. You do this the, the video for. Just a dream. Just yeah, a dream. just a dream. Man, right. I don't know the video for please. Right, a just a dream. Just a the dream. The girl in a just a dream video. She still around? No, she I never am. The prettiest girl me ever seen on video, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, she'll take her off, <laughs> man. I'll go on to be, man. You know, it's never about all them people again. I'm a you sister, they the interviewed. I'm a sister friend, you know. And my sister did introduce that girl there uh, and bring her in the video. I never had the whole life back after that. Oh, so please stay around close to never, never let, let go. go. Yeah, them two tune the cripple dance hall, man. Cripple dance, dance hall. hall. <laughs> yeah, man. Sir Philip Fraser is a big man in the business now. Big name in the business. Big yeah, job. Yeah, man. Big everything, man. 50 years, man. And all yeah. them stuff, them, man. And I mean, I thought them time, man, with, 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 um, please stay and, and never, never let go. go. Yes, yeah, man. man. I rub shoulder with all of the old zone of the business. Yes, man. I want to give you a better job. Watch this now. Sammy Dredd is a man where me inspire. Sammy Dredd, I work down at the wharf, yeah? I drive properly. You understand? But you always listen to me. Mm -hmm. All right. I record for the same um, root tradition. In first song, African Girl. Much of the place. In first, first recording, you know? So you up now. Some dread start going every dance my sugar mine at none of sing pan sound and all kinda of something cause sugar start that thing there. Right. So one day some pass up on the corner and stop and say you see you come like you're a fool you now. Say we are talking to you. Until you could dread like you, man, which fool. <laughs> and say you this. A you tune a mush up dance, every dance you go, I never let go. You for come a dance, come sing, them tell them I used to do that, you know. And we say, well, some you talk about come a dance, come sing. And say, yes, God let her go on. And be here, you me. It's all right. Time ready. And one night him come pick me up. I'ma go out and club up across the road. The supermarket is right there, you know. Right at the corner across the road. Empire, Empire oh, supermarket. You know, yes, there. man. The car there yes, the supermarket. man. Mm. Big dance upstairs. Them no member who sound, you know. And you hear my man. You swear me going there, me going there. I never let go of the man in my play, you know. <laughs> yeah. And me say, what is this now, you know? I'm going to put on the version, you know, be. 
in the street now. Yes, as I said, so on, and, and some of the things and so on, we mentioned echo vibration earlier. Were you actually working out on any other sounds along the journey aside from echo vibration? Well, as you say, echo vibration was the starting of everything right. until Sammy introduced me okay. to come a dance. When Sammy introduced me to come there, so now they must start taking the dancing serious now. We did a Gemini club on table oh, Wednesday night cool. on Gemini. So, I do an Alman town for Metro Media and near me, I don't say it no. Me and him they everywhere now for sound now. Yes. Sugar mine not know theme sound now, youth man, man promotion. promotion now it's like you understand the whole I would just fall in now yeah. because me I say sugar start that thing. Let me get a look at the history, we soon pick up back sugar. Gemini, who were some of the artists around Gemini at the time? Well the selector was Archie, yeah. Archie. Mm. Ringo. Well done. Well done Ivy. Mm. Yeah man. So those were the two main persons. Yeah, those were the two. Ronald Mitchell, who, 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 who were the people around there at the time? Peter Mitchell, Peter Danny Dreadlocks. Peter just come through, and Danny, yeah. around half a thing. Yeah. My thing, and then you end up around a youth man now, so that's a sugar and who else is around there? Sugar Daddy Hans, Daddy Shark, and Daddy Shark. Yeah, that time, couple more youth. You know? My thing. Yeah, man. <laughs> so yeah. after youth man promotion, you were around any other sound system? Yes, man. Talk to me about that, the father Fraser, man. Then we get my official work on Stereograph now. We are so the world. So you became much resident up. on yes, Stereograph. Yes, man. Philip so, Fraser, Josie Wheel, Charlie, Charlie Chaplin. Chaplin. Yes, man. Anyway, the sound of me have for the day. Country town, anyway. Then I turn so the thing get even bigger, bigger. now. Because remember, you know, Stereograph book out, you know, with them and the Amina. You know. Yeah, man, so the thing explode now. Yes, I. See go on. See go on. Yes, man. You spent some time in England one at the time. Yes, man. Oh, you go around that part at first, though. What, what, what led you around that side? Well, be honest with you, the first time I go to England, I never want that day there. Okay. And I saw I go there the first time. Funeral settings? Eh? You went to the funeral? Yes. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Come on back now. In the 80s now, you understand? Them time never let go much of the place. We leave now and go to England now with this album name, Loving You. Loving You. The mm. Virgin play some chuck off right now too long. Right. There, you understand? <laughs> and say, so, well, now go look at deal because sugar is a man of them and they always did it. And we did it when me go. Okay. And introduce me to some people and things. And I find a Virgin name, Silver Camel. <laughs> and him take the album from me and things and put out. You understand? But I ended up spending like about a year and a half in England because at the first time I went to know this place. Okay. It's so nice, so much excitement to go on at the music when I see us. Yes, so. yes, a minute. Yes. Yeah. And I then the amount of songs I sing from up the bars, I can't count them, man. I did everywhere in England. Country town, everywhere I sing from sound, every night. And I turn me end up having two youth in England. Where it busy, man. Yes, man, like just say, you know, say if you have some youth, you say, no. I just have some youth. I mean, just have two youth. <laughs> when I do my thing right now, to the oh, US CT. Oh, yeah? Yes, man. In the day different day, from, yeah. from, from Ras Fraser? Yeah, man, different from Ras Fraser, man. Hey. Yeah, man. But, but the musical lineage has passed on, man. Yes, I. Uh, so, England, yeah, how long has you spent there? Eh? About a year and a half ago to two years, man. I'm getting mad now, I say, no, no, Fraser. We had to know this thing I drawn out. We have to go back to Jamaica and have to watch it in our way. I do, you know, see, that's when we come back to Jamaica. People glad to see me in the man themselves. We had to run right and I hear too much of you. Never let go, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. You know, so when you're forward, but now that was the time the stereograph time, I was before yeah, you go away. That was the stereograph time. So, why is on stereograph now? Because them time they clash still are going on the space. Mm -hmm. Were you involved in any showdown whilst on Stereograph with any other sound or any other DJs? Well, yes, apart from Stereograph. If Stereograph now play and there's other sound where I play, they will call me and say, Mr. Fraser, bam, bam, man. I just go work because, like, you understand the okay. people them want to see man like me pan the mic because them so are going. So, so, Philip Fraser was just a singer, a performer. I'm never really in the clutch part of the thing. No, you know. Oh, okay. One man ever tried to do that as you talk about that thing there, you know. A leng, you know. A sting, you know. Who am the one you clash with? I think of me. 
tone it up, sugar, and much of jazz mix in it. Okay. And it never work, it you never know. Work out. It never work out. It don't work, man. What When sugar comes, sugar mother and say, oh, where mother? Clash. I don't know you know Clash, man. I'm saying sugar, you know, sir. I don't know where the man do. A DJ for Clash, man. We don't know Clash. Yeah, that's the Clash. So sugar breaks to and go away. Uh, you understand? And me and Jad Nooks alone now. I go to a Clash. Me and Jad Nooks just go up there. And Jad sing. Thing. And, and you take back sing. and me come sing and take back and Rary. And that's it. No, but me, me never really deal in a Clash thing. Uh, so Stereograph. As I said, was was the song that you called home for how long were you and Serga for? I had no fears in a box. No fears. No no fears in it. No fears. No fears. Cause Terra go up make no people even know about Philip Fraser. Cause I read and nobody that play me more as well. Why do? I don't know, you know. <laughs> I don't know about reading and nobody play. Sweet vice. A sound with system some play tune. me, a, a sound, sound system about Philip Fraser. Yeah man, never let go. Right? Never let go sell more than enough tune that play on the radio will go number one for people. Never let go of the them. And never let go I've never been in the chart in Jamaica. But may I ask you again, Sir Fraser, what would have led to that? Was it because you never have no management structure around you and you try to lead to the bridge in them and the thing? What, what, what? No, if I were to tell you we lead to that, you know, me and sound now, you know, I know it's still going on and I don't fear to talk, you know. Is money lead to those things? Money, you understand? Yeah, money. But money lead to those things. Can watch this now. Look at Philip Fraser, look at producer from Greenwich and name, Dan Mays, who tradition. Who them is? You understand? I don't like say King Jam is uh, this, that, 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 what we can call and say, bring me here, You understand? Yeah. I'm not afraid to talk. You understand? I'm not king. So, we never in that position to do that. Remember, we give them the song, you know. And one and two man, we like it and play it one time, and that's it, you're not hearing it again. Because no money no go on. Money no run. And father say, oh, I tell you to go, that you now for just run with and bust, man, no read and have to play this. You understand? Know yeah, man, that sound system bust Philip Fraser and no read a bit. Read or just a play Philip Fraser. Read or just a play Philip Fraser. Yeah, because no After people. After 40 and 50 and years. No people dead and when them look back and them catalog them say, what? But I'm one of them sing some wicked tune and I will never play him. I could talk to him one and two play now. Joke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So as soon as he's responsible for Philip Fraser's career. Eh? No, I said the sound system yes, responsible man. for Philip definitely, Fraser's career. Definitely, definitely. Yeah? Yeah, man. Philip Fraser also became known as a sound killer, dub plates. Sure. I'll be man. A People have said Johnny has burned and Philip Fraser, the man them where I write off most of the sound them back yes, there. Yes, man, a we controller. Are you controller? Yes, man, I'll be man. <laughs> we, teach, were... we teach all big artists to sing dub because they never know about dub business. Right. You understand? And we have to tell them. So all you have to do is sing back your tune, you know. Call the sound name and some things and rare. And them say, Well, sir, come so free that we never know what's so. up. Which, which one of the songs in the catalog are normally the songs them where normally I write off songs back in the days? Eh? Never let go. Never let go. Never let go. That, I'll know. That's the killing jewels. I'll know. Of a sound car, a sound man called Philip Fraser. Never let go of the first thing them talk about. Uh, yeah, man. The amount of double me do it, never let go, man. I tell you. The amount of double you're going to do it, never let go. I'm going to tell you. Well, <laughs> we, we, we soon get around to that. Philip Fraser has also done quite a number of albums. About 15 albums About so 15 far. About 15 albums. Counting our release, you know. And plus things when I release, some of them bad at that about them. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned Loving You earlier. The Loving You was one of the albums. Yeah, man. With songs like Still in Love and Holding On and, 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 yes, and man. Loving You. Who, who, who released Loving You? We well, loving you. They released in England uh, from Silver Camel. Right. Silver Camel. Oh Camel. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, I'd said that before. Silver Camel also released Blood of the Sea. Blood of the Sea. Yeah. So at, at over there, so that released too. Yeah. UK side. Mhm. Mm uh, and on that album, we have song like Mr. Wicked Man. Yes, sir. Take a piece of Mr. Wicked Man, no? Hey, Mr. Wicked Man, man, what you doing? Hey, Mr. Wicked Man. Man, what you say to judge our children every day 
to judge our children. He would not say, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You sit upon your golden throne. You don't know what is going on in this ghetto. Yeah, mom, it's a wicked man. It's a wicked man. Yes, man, just sit down and watch you and laugh. And it's still a go on. <laughs> and we are killing her for one another. The big showdown. Yeah. Featuring Philip Tristan Palmer. Philip Tristan Palmer, yeah, man. Mm, that was produced by Tristan Palmer. Tristan Palmer production and that? Yeah. Okay. So you have been Couple doing work with Tristan yes, as well? Yes, man. I need that Slim Smith cover again. Watch this song watch with this the Patrice and match up the place. Big song that again? Yes, ma'am. Give me a piece of it, man. <laughs> <laughs> there is something happening here. This isn't exactly clear. There's a man over there telling me I've got to be real. I want you to stop, children. Watch this sound. Everybody look, people, what's going on? Yeah, man. Mad. Big song, man. Yes, man. Every time you touch up my slim sing. Yes, gone. man. Gone. Gone. Yeah, keep your eye drain, your yes, eye drain, I. um, legacy alive to what, 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 when you do that. Yes, When you do that as well. And we talk about album, Blood of the Saints, mm -hmm. saying, I who have nothing. Tristan Palmer. Tristan yeah. Palmer album that. Yes, man. Uh, that is what the, late, the, the the last album you did. I have done albums since then. No, that is not the last. That's album. not the last that album. That was in the making at the fifteen. Okay, okay. Yeah, that is not the last album. Yeah, I will talk about the song earlier. I'm gonna say the prettiest girl I've ever seen in one video. This is a dream. Oh, just a dream. Just a dream. Tristan me do all of them things. Tristan, me and him did do some nice production, you know. Yes. Yeah. I'm living here in Black Solidarity, you know? Black Solidarity, yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. You also did some recordings for Jonjo. Never released. Why? I don't know. Them hold me down, never released. <laughs> I tell you the truth, be. Yeah, man. I do about four or five songs for Jonjo. I must do play them, cut them pan and play them for him, so never released them. You did some recordings for Jamis? Sure. Sometimes I never like hear some of them names, you know, although I bring them to them. I do a whole pack of records with Jammies. Jammies have all been there. They must sit down pan for me. Nearly about 10, 20 years now. Why? About three years ago or four years ago, I see me up on my place and I'm out up and sound wave through that. I'm so afraid that I know some of the albums. I still have the album, you know. I just laugh and say, yes, King. Right? You released about three shows. I released about three songs. I released about three songs, but in England. England? Yeah. Jam is not released, not shown with me at Jamaica. You understand? I don't know. The whole people fight me getting up here. But why, Mr. Fraser, like the voice is beautiful, the lyrical content is wonderful, performance wise, you can't stand up beside anybody. You'd have paid the dues in the sound system, culture, through youth man promotion, stir graph, echo vibration, and the whole works. So why, why? Philip Fraser get their level of fight there. And uh, Philip this Fraser, game. yeah, I sing better than Nuffman both yeah. We have mm. big name. Like it's just a reality of the thing. <laughs> is that in a be but what is now? This game, when you hear music, it is nice and not nice. Mm. The people them that is in it. Music is nice because the father tell me and Bob come back come tell me. I understand. Music alone shall teach him a lesson. Music alone shall Same live. Way. Everybody has got dead music has got to live. So watch this now. It's a cultural thing. We are peer fight and jealousy in this thing. You understand? It's small label. Make Philip Fraser and make him name, you know. Not no big label and right. I sing for big labels. But I don't know, just jealousy. I want to say, oh, no, so I can't make call Philip Fraser about Sky for all them money about. I'm mm -hmm. on just a judge, you know. But till him but the next man from the same with him where him thrown up bad like your one and you have to wonder. Yeah man, you know, tell Fraser, me. a troublemaker, a bad boy personality. Back in the days. Me? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I want to but I can't tell. Watch this now. <laughs> I grew up rough, seeing? Yeah. Because I tell you it's a green it's all. Seeing? Sidewalk. 
Bota Wata Ron, Bota Pan, O Cook and Eatota, Bota Pan, the new town, no boat them so the thing. Some go rough, me see everything. And I can but Rastafari and music saved me from that road that you're talking about. Right. Because if it was music and Rastafari, I, I would I take that mean. road more serious. <laughs> Yeah, be because, because I'm good every, every man are wicked, you know. I'm good every, every, every man. man wicked. Yes, man. Every man from Trench Town, everybody have to come and go in the you know. Because we have the number one man we are selling there, you know. <laughs> and we have the seaside where the fish there, you know. Uh, every man have to come and go in the tram, so we know every man. Yeah, man. And judge just steer you and say, watch it. Judge so just steer you? Yeah, man, and say, watch it. Music, Rastafari. Well, I'm going to get a little joke. In between music, because we grew up talented, you know, as I said to you, not like them youth are now. Things happen. Football, cricket, because I can't play them things that good go. Okay. I play a cricket for Jamaica, school boy. Mad thing, man. Yeah, man. With Michael Olin, Jeff Dujan, and them people, you know. But you play can't with play them, man. Yeah, be. Watch this now. I do a sub in a park. I play for Kensington. Kensington. Yeah. The junior side. Blow my money, cabal, man. Catch him, Sir Fraser. He said, I'm going to go there and go, sir. Philip Fraser playing at the stand for the region, and I'm going to drop the cage too. <laughs> so, you're a music a player. I play. Yeah, it's that. Nice, nice, and I'm going to go here. I'm glad now because, you know, so you're glad for your youth to play for the radio. <laughs> drop the cage, you know, be. Man, they're going to kill me, man. <laughs> and I'm saying, hey, you have to go choose one, you know. You have to choose one. And you choose one. And you know, music. go on and go on till. Clan circles again, seeing? Every time, on a Sunday, when me don't play cricket, I have to have my bag, have my cricket clothes, my show clothes, because Clan circles have me for some talenting again, but it was bigger talenting than Tony Mark thing. Oh, okay. That yeah, man, has tear, tear, and all them places, you know. So when I leave cricket match, you know, I'm going to sing, you know. I'm going to sing, you know. I'm going to sing, you know. And I asked the question earlier, if you say, you know, sometimes a man's personality might hold him down. I don't mean ask if, 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 if Philip Fraser was a bad boy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if them they take it oh, they take that, it that way. way. Probably. Uh, you understand? Probably them they take it and, that and, way. And again, when I answer that, Father Fraser, there's everything there in terms of a musical package. So I can't see why Philip Fraser didn't get the fire. So that's why I try to figure out what. Well, watch you now. You see you ask me again, come back around again, watch this now. And I don't even know why they take it away there because Bunny Lee is a man where I grew in a man again. I mean, never record to Bunny Lee and the biggest producer and again in the tram. Right. So I don't know if I'm afraid of me, Bunny Lee, but afraid of me, Bunny Lee, them all gargan. <laughs> and he never record me and he know me, he can't sing and I did them on him. So I don't know what was the problem be. I don't know. I don't know, I just say some of them me afraid and say, oh, no man, you're a bad man. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Eventually, I guess because you felt you know get the justice where you deserve from you said did some, some some stuff for Jonjo mm. and you did some stuff for jammies and you feel like you're not you not get the justice. That that is mm. how that, that is what led you to, to raise a son, your own label. Definitely as some you know become say have my own thing at sure. So I look at man and know say, I'm not just singing alone, you have to know the business. Right. Singing at one percent out of hundred percent, you know. Hundred percent of the business, you have to know the business, my brother. So that like singing. Yeah, one, one percent, percent of the out music out business. Out of hundred, no man and no one take it for joke. So you know, sing and sing till you drop down and dead, man. <laughs> you know, reach that away, you know, get no. Yeah? Singing a one percent of music business. One that has me see it as me no business. One next man want see it as a one. That make a lot of sense, sir. What do you mean? You have to know the business because watch this now. This when we are come and we don't know certain rights so we have in the business like performing rights, register we sang them and all them things there. And next place name MPCS, mechanical rights and some more place. When you sing, the producer put theme name from the record and say I am write it, you know. Matter right as credit for your song. Yes. And when him go a foreign, go deal with business. Him collect all your publishing, Paul, because you don't know about publishing. So you see, it is so all you those things. some early beaten. All of us get it. That never know all these things. The producer, them collect all these things and laugh off of it. 
Eastside does say watch us now. Philip Fraser wanna label. Razor sound, S and J sound. You understand? I'ma just talk my own label. I'ma say result because I used to watch Winston Riley. Come back again, me I tell you about this clue clock thing in the business, you know. Yes, there is a clue clock thing in the business. Yes. Well. <laughs> All these record company where people are carrying them things go give you this tribute. Yeah. They are robbers. Because I've been through it. Give them my things and I go. Five dollar royalty for six months. See, this can't feed my family. I joke great. No, I'm gonna walk on here, so. One man said, Why you don't watch Winston Riley and see what this man do? This man is doing the right thing. This man press him record, oh. pack up him box him and go to every foreign country with them but and sell them. Him and me start to do that, me don't take back my stamper from Dynamics, Sonic Sound, this, that, 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 and start press my things them now. So they might look at me and say, Boy, boy, yeah. So let me show you how to know the business. Boy, I find yeah, out here. Yeah, boy, I find out here. I'm going to start pressing the thing to my brother. The thing where a man give me $10 for, for six months, when me go out foreign, I'm going to And millions of that, I sell off run time right away if I tap so I like, get my money in my life. So, I'm not going to take out a dollar. No, I'm going to go No, I'm going to go out and So, all these things in the business, people have to know it's not a joke. So, as we are on this now, it sounds like while well, I get some early beating, everything republishing and royalties for Philip Fraser is now in the right place. Well, not every everything. Uh, because they are still robbing certain things. <laughs> I don't get to that part you yet. Don't get to that part to, but yet. most of them that them used to do, them cannot do it anymore because I know about performing rights and I know about MPCS and I know about publishing company and all these things. You understand? But there are a lot of money out there, not for Philip Fraser alone. For the hard all of the artists the them round here where them don't know where people are collect. People never did even come in and dance and turn up and watch we sing. People there have me talk about you know, some minister people them, you know. Some minister people. Yes, we are collect the money, our money. And a joke thing I tell you about me. Cause people afraid to talk, but me not afraid to talk because of our work. And them collecting the money. And we not getting it. So yes, steps sir. are things are in place to, to, to treat to those things. Our steps are being taken to treat to that part of it. I just leave them to time. Well, me alone can't take the steps. Mm, we have to come true. together and make them know that the whole of it know, say, who say, <laughs> them are this and that for music around here. Right. For make sure we get for right so them are collect because in time we don't, they are sleep and sound back and are sleep in a dance hall. We never see none of them. I just know we are here, say, so young minister that we music and this and that. But we never see you. <laughs> and you don't know me neither. Yes. I did one of them a come up last week where where, where you know and see them and I give them our things that we forget. Because we know that everything we are going on. You know everything we are going on. everything we are going because they go overseas and collect all of these things for Jamaican artists. And we are not getting it. Because them say we are a fool and we don't know what is going on. Jonathan. And and raise a sound label, you would have done production with people like Ika Moss. No people, no man. People. I feel big artist, man. Tristan Younger. Palmer. Yes, man. Tyan. Yes, man. I have to keep my label big enough. Because I don't see where I go on. The smallest man come from my label, I'm a son, Rats Fraser Jr. Rats Yeah, and Rats me and him do an album. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the album name with the, with the Rats Fraser? Roots Man Time for Adam Son. Man, die, yeah, I put out a couple more singles there. But I record enough artists, man. Glenn Washington, Sugar Minot, The Meditation, Michael Palmer, Tony Top. Name them, I pay a big name for my team. Because I mean, I did a little joke thing, you know. Kind of time I press the record and go there. It's for sale. Officer. When I interviewed a month, I'm Glenn Washington, you have that God give me. 120, <laughs> I want 150. I can't go there with names where people don't know. Oh, and yeah. flap with other sound things. Yeah, man. So the who is who? Philip Fraser have, him, have them on him label. Yeah, I can't label. put name we don't have no. But you know, if you bought some, some, young, some, some young talents of Sir Fraser, man. man. Yes, yeah. but watch this now. After I've been through all these things, I would like to do that. Right. You understand? But starting my own label now, forget recognition. You understand? I have to make sure some champion name is on it. Makes sense still. That makes sense. Remember, you know, fly now, fly my things go all about, go tell you know. And you're still doing the distribution yourself? Yes. 
me plane ticket, me hotel money, this and that. So me have no same time me go in a record shop. I'm going to leave 10 tunes on the table and yeah, say, right yeah. yeah, if I have 10, 10 of each, I'm going to have to take my card, the name them and the song them. And I can, as I say, it's only one small name. And so I yeah, trade and I show, I see the potential, not him to my son, I see right. the potential and okay. what he's doing. I rate that too, because yeah. some people just because of them son, you see the potential. Yeah. And if Mr. Fraser see the potential, that means him, him, him have talent. And I make sure I collaborate him with me too, and make it even more stronger. All we know are Rat Fraser. You yeah, have to take Philip Fraser, because the tune of Philip Fraser up on the album, yeah. You want it? And then you start listening to Rat Fraser one now, yeah. and say, yeah. You be it. A craft, a craft, a craft, yeah, I use for the, for the street to deserve. Yeah, because you have to know the business that I said to you. The town craft. <laughs> the business is not And, and you, you, you keep saying, are you actually pressing vinyl? Right now? Yeah. No, because the pressing kind of slow down. Okay, because I know, right, yeah, know that. Because yeah. I know some people, especially Europe side, are, are still vinyl and Yeah, love. still vinyl. Because I have a whole heap of vinyl and I'm sure that I'm getting it. A whole heap of vinyl. And time I move, I just bim bam, a whole heap of vinyl. I'm pressing for going that far, I just press. But no pressing now going that far. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm also CD. Yeah, man. And CD soon play out right now. Too, right, now. because yeah. a, a thumb drive, a man in my world. Yeah, all them stuff there. Yeah. Mm. But I guess the vinyl yeah. market is still big. Yes, some parts man. probably you should yeah, man. get back some of them pressing ability and press on vinyl. At the too. greatest market, vinyl, not no greater than vinyl. Nice. When you play a vinyl and have a little scratch, you can just go say, you know. When you play a CD and, and scratch. Work, one scratch, everything mash up, take out that, you know. Sure that. You know? Sure. Yes, sir. So, Father Fraser, the, 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 the label has been doing well. And as I say, can you farm um, Freedom Sounds? Roots tradition, kind of stone. Mm. Eventually, you now your form, your and, and question. Mm. You were very instrumental in the formation of those labels. Are you still benefiting, or were you benefiting financially from your collaboration with Freedom, Freedom Sounds, and them something here? <laughs> well, watch this now. Starting off with Freedom Sound. I change that post here. You see, with Freedom Sound now. I look a bit, you know, start a thing with high time, which is early, she not me. Okay. High time. So instead of freedom sound is high time, but freedom sound things in there right, are work right, as high right. time. Oh. You understand? So all of them things that make me start believing because I say, watch this now. We are not grow now, especially freedom sound. You know, one man used to me and you are fighting, you know, because you know me, I say, no people are not generating. You and me do not king, because I'm smart on them, you know, where the thing is concerned. Me just take my album, come to open, and I start press it myself. Nobody can talk. You can't talk to me. You never give me no money now. Me and your thing. And you alone want to eat fight, and I don't get nothing. So you start pressing yourself? I start pressing myself. Then I see it too, before I die. I see it. And say, boy, free it, you know, easy, you know. And you want to him now. One day, I drive through farm, all the time, I live over here. And him stop me. Anyway, what Mr. Brown? Well, for you, they want to see a man out of some coming to up and help you, you know. You know, I'm not over your yard. He laughed till my week, you know. He said, Yes, I'm here, tell you. But I'm here, and you know it. So, poor me never take it under force and press it back. Anyway, I'm not still like you, you know. How much you want? I said, 25. He said, I'll bring the 25 come here tomorrow. I'm just going to come get him. And when I give him again, I remind him, I say, you see that, Mr. Brown? The fool, I never take it and press it now. So, but the two of us go and press it and I eat. I eat a fool, right? More than we fight and kill one another car, bro. True that, true that. Yeah, man. And I had him start, man. But I'm sure you have to do the thing, you know. The thing stay, you know. Well, Connor's two and root tradition now, you know. They must two younger youth than Mr. Brown. OK. So, me and them kind of have a relation, really, and you understand? Yeah. I don't know Mr. Brown is the man who yeah. try to yeah. do go some wrong. foul play. Mr. Brown try to go wrong. Yeah. Uh, Any uh, man uh, who uh, sing for you, okay. me no care who you know. You see, when he played my song, I mean him, Philip Fraser, and my song, I mean sing it. I don't have to use theme with him. He doesn't yeah. knock it back. Do you mean them no must knock it back? <laughs> then I write it and my things and I theme things. Yeah. And you know, put it out and sit down on it and so for me. And I have family for people like you. I do it back, man. Yes, mommy, not play that. 
the yeah, people man. out there who are getting in touch with Father Fraser for bookings and dub plates, how they go about finding you? Well, watch this now. <laughs> All I'm off for doing you now. He's just typing my name or anything, you know, and them see it come up. Because I'm not too familiar with the technology. I yeah. have a smaller son. Yeah. Where... So you have a number where you can call? Because that's the son man. Yes, never man. Come on, run the number, man. We don't have a secret for the number. Run yeah, the number, man. It's 76 man. What's up, anything, Run it again. 876 Nice. Yeah, man. And I'm getting in touch with Philip Fraser right away, man. Yes. Yeah, man. Father Fraser, you have been in the business for a long time. You have done 40, 50 years in the business. Yes, I. And you have been through all the stages of the business. Sound system, recording, performance. Theatre, everything, everything, everything. Everything. everything Record, label, formation, production. Everything. All of these things. Yeah. Which aspect of the music you enjoy the most from those times coming up? Production, voicing, um, rubber dub, so sound business, um, what? Me no love nothing else but singing now. Sing? Yeah. <laughs> all of my yeah, life are singing. All of my life are singing. All of, all of your all life, of life singing. At me wake up, me have to sing. Because <laughs> me have to keep this in tune. Yeah. Me no love nothing else but singing. That is a part of the music where? My whole life, yeah. my whole everything that. And as I say whole life, is there anything where Philip Fraser love enough? Having been doing music in more life, is there anything else where you love enough? Where you then do for feed the family? If I never music, I do this, this time? So that again. Right, I so you have been doing you. music yeah. all of your life. Yeah. So is there anything else where you love enough? Other mm -hmm. than music where you then do for feed the family? If I never music, I do? I don't love nothing else, you know. <laughs> I love nothing. No and music make me feed my family. Yeah. And music make me have everything in my life. I with them say me no fear God make me have true music. Yeah. I understand. I love nothing else. I achieve nothing else from yes. that. And as I say, achieve. Looking at the journey so far, Father Fraser, what is that thing when you look at it? It makes you feel proud, give you a sense of accomplishment. Say so yes. This is a part of Philip Fraser's journey and legacy. Well, it's not a nice thing to talk about materialist thing. Right. But you see when I get up and I look for my house or port more so as a youth who come from the I have to laugh once I thank you God your Rasta for all can watch her. It's music, see? Alright. The other thing again is my vehicle. Where is your so and here why? I'm going to tell you about the vehicle. About three years ago, them teeth me carry around uh, Jungle fire, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes, me. I'm going to take in my two bridges in them, Silver Tone and Ronald Dunkley. And Silver Tone daughter come call me and say, Daddy say, I'm not to make care. I say, I'm not to make care. I pay madness that money I keep up all the while, you know. She said, No, I'm serious. I said, But I don't want to out there anymore, my pack. She said, No, I'm serious, Mr. Fraser come. I said, I'm going out there. Empty spot. Everybody has vehicle there, they're my one gone. And father just make me walk and take bus for a year, you know, because I'm used to everything. And father make me have something bigger and better. Nice one. And so when people see, people say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I talk about this, when I talk about one of them teeth. <laughs> when I talk about for this, not just me dry. So about one of them teeth, no? Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? And all of these achievements is music. Mm. I sing, I sing and get back everything. Yeah, I, I don't sing, go rock no bad now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that man, that man, that's all like I was talking about making it a part yes, of the yeah, yeah, man. man. Yeah, man. Is there anything where the man no grasp it, put him finger on musically, where you still have to add to the legacy before you try on? Uh, I just want to keep on recording like what I am doing now, because I'm doing a holy power. I just finished up an EP. For Tristan Palm. Tristan. Right? I have a next EP. What is the EP I've... name? No, we don't get yeah, a name as yet. Again. But the songs them finish. You know? Yeah. I have right. two more EP finishing up. One for a bridge in uh, Florida and one for a bridge named Ricky Wave at Sound Wave. Oh, so okay. I sing every day you now and I just buy two songs for one of my little bridge in England. We have a radio station named Wayne Lyric. So I sing every day, every night. I don't want them nothing more. Mm. And let me ask you a question. Are you still doing the music the, the original way where a band, a, a live 
bands you yeah, yeah, record to or you just get a rhythm and you go voice to it now? Or you still have musicians playing, playing the tracks? It, it depends on who I really had the record. Oh, okay, because okay. Me I do it for you and you have a portion of rhythm where them didn't make fear. Some of the freedom, I have some rhythm, 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 but if I go do my own thing, I prefer to lay my rhythm. rhythm. No, but I work with it too, you know yeah. what I mean? Because Soul if you have some rhythm, I'm not going to tell you no. no. For me, like them, I can't work yeah. with them. Soul Syndicate is still a thing? No, Soul Syndicate is not around anymore. Okay, okay, okay. No, they, they, they split up, you know. Yeah. China is there, we want a thing named some Naya Bingi something. Oh, okay. Well, we talked to China one of them times. Yeah, you know. Great money yes, man. Looking at the journey, Father Fraser, is there anything we then do differently from a musical perspective? If you get the chance to read the musical journey. If you get the chance to redo it. Uh. Mm. Well, as I said to you, you know, this journey will be concerned whether redoing it or doing it right now. Everything is just music, is just singing to me. Yes. Yeah, because if I redo it, I sing, I'm going to sing again. Yeah, I sing again. I just music, whichever way. I just music. I just music. Yeah. We know that, never let go, please stay, Blood of the Saints, watch the song, mm. Ethiopian, um, come Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Yeah. All of them songs, they are big songs in the journey, plus many more songs. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Um, it is a dream, this dream. Just All of them sang them. Yeah, Which song would has done the best for you from a commercial perspective? Well, I would say never let never go. Let go. Because then we are gonna say never let go. You know? I went to um, Mega Mart the other day with the vehicle, you know. But the Virgin checked the battery for me and okay. kids and we did the attack. And I said, well, your favorite artist, so. <laughs> I say you're that spiritual youth, I want. You just look for me and say that. Yeah. I say you're that spiritual youth. Oh, you just look for me and say that. You say, Chow, you look for me and say that as a spiritual youth. I go and tell you who me is. I'm going to go there a while now. I say, my name is Philip Fraser. I say, well, Philip Fraser, it's my time if it's done, said the Fraser. Never let go. That the man punch in and never let go. The man type in and him co work at them mad men. I tell them, say, see me, see me, and I say. So you're not done, never let go, you know? Normally, the biggest song or, more, or, or most popular song in an artist's catalog, sometimes it's not the song where they resonate with them the most. You have a song where in your quiet time, when you are drive, when you are look at gardening, when you are shower, mm. it your meds, that the one that keep coming to you more than any of the others in, a, in, a, in, a, in a the catalog. It's a good question you ask me now, but here this now came. You know, say I don't listen to Philip Prater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I have two CDs in my car right now. One yeah. Philip Fraser and the next one is Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke, Sam Cooke I listen to you now. Yeah. So, that question that you asked me, into my head, right. is those people I listen, listen to, to, Sam Cooke. I don't listen to Philip Fraser. Right. I know them way like, I'm not really yeah. listen to each them neither. <laughs> don't listen to each them neither. Don't listen to each them neither. Yeah, man, I don't listen to each them neither. I listen to Philip Fraser. Mm. I listen to people where I learn from. You understand? I understand what you're saying. Yeah, man. You give me more inspiration than my thing. Then. People who listen to me and get inspiration. I don't want to listen to me for get inspiration. I don't inspire by it and make it already. Right. So I need to uh, you know, move, on, move on. Is there a song in the catalog, though, Sir Fraser, where you feel? Should be a bigger song. That song you're not getting love where you deserve it. That song you're not getting love where you deserve it. That song you're going to be a world song. Well, well yes, it depends. And then again, it depends upon the place because me I say most of my song them where people don't know around here. Bigger, it's big, big bigger Uber. Europe. You understand? And them don't get no players and all those things as we say like all coming to up and blood up the same. Them songs they're not jokes and you know. Them songs they are big reality sitting. You understand? And if those songs they play around here. You know? So the phrase and name will be even bigger name. Yeah. I don't want to say and disrespect people because people is people and we are all people and we love people. But we round here, we don't intend to listen to the rightful things them that is coming out. Remember Bob Marley, you know? 
We never did even appear in the mind. And when the world take him, ah, take him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that time, that's why I go for two, man. Yeah. See him, so I go for two. Yeah. Yeah, People have to accept us before we accept ourselves. Yes. I don't know yes. why. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, they are waiting for the free to pass and then play something. I say, Lord God, and this thing, man, this thing, long time I watch and I eat up, you know. I eat up, you know. Yes, and all them things, you never know all the while. I don't know. You don't know that. That's what they say for your father, please. You know, you know. Yes. You know. Yes. You, you have any collaborations in the journey? If, oh, no, you understand the. Some yes, man, we have a collaboration. Right. We have a collaboration with Charlie, Charlie Chaplin, um, Mega Bantan, mm. yeah, man, um, Professor Nuts. Yeah, mm. uh. You see, anybody who's still active, where you don't mind going to the studio, go, go buy a tune with. Yes, we're still active, right? Where you don't mind doing a collaboration with. Yes, but. There's people who would have do that with. Right. Like people like Carl Luciana, Jonathan, mm -hmm. even Uncle Berries, and then people like Jonathan. Yeah, but but let me ask you a question. I'm very popular with my head first. Right. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, the, the texture of your voice and the texture of your voice. Yes, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a virgin man, Jonathan. But I'm a few, you know. But apart from that, because I don't mean, want to make the thing go yeah. down <laughs> to wear these beauties carrying it. Yeah. You know, I don't want to go so, that So way. the messenger and, and, and father be? Yes, man. Mm. Yeah, I feel them now. Yes, man. Yeah, Great collaboration, them. them things there. Yes. You understand? So you know, so your things is, you know? Yes. Uh, yeah, couple look at you out there still where I hold it, you know? Yeah, man. But them two man there, mm. you know? But most of the people them that I would like to do with trade Pass in on. the past. Mm. Oh, you know, so. They already part. Get a like D Brown and, and all those Brown. people yeah. and all my favorite Slim Slim and Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah man. How many children Sir Fraser have? Me? Yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> Six of them you have, you know? Six of them. Four boys and two girls. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, man. And you would say do well. Yeah, yeah man. Them, you said two of them in the music. Two um, of them in the music. Ross Fraser and what the other one name? Ross T.T. Ross T.T. Yeah. And a music of them thing. Music them there. Yes. Yeah, man. The bigger one now, the bigger and all of them. And they love it, but boy, I mean, I know because you understand people change, you know, and people really. Yeah, man. So, yeah. You must be finding Carly, yeah, yeah sir. So yeah. Carly. Daddy Carly, no, must be film Carly. Yeah. So, you know. And then the smaller one now, he is a bookman. He's a bookman. Yeah, and he helped me out with all, all of my little things, yeah. technology oh, yeah. business. Even now, my shoes that I have, you understand? I am the engineering thing when I nice have time, man. Yeah, you know, I have time. I have a book, man. They know. They read them, so they know. Yeah, yeah well, we know them. Yeah. That's a good, man. Yeah. So, first, I'm married? Yes, man. Nice, man. Long time, man. Long time. Long time. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know it, bro. My wife, you all right? Yes, man. She all right, man. Glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Miserable sometimes. All right, you know all right, you are you in trouble, father? No, man, I'm not getting in trouble, man. You're not getting in trouble. You know what's so man see miserable sometimes. <laughs> well, man, get trouble still, you know, but yeah. it depends. It depends. If you get trouble in the highs, oh, okay. then I disrespect. I disrespect that, right. I don't do that. You don't do that. No, you I don't, don't do you're that. You don't do that for sure. No, I don't do those things. <laughs> you mean here, you but you have to see for yourself. Right. You understand? Well, yeah, you but I don't do that. Lead, yeah, that all right. right. You understand me? <laughs> yeah, I'm the man who does chewed up to my yard. Yes. And my wife can't count on that. You understand? Say, I'm going to come home now. You understand? And them, As it yeah. should be. Yes, yeah, sir. As it should be. Mm -hmm. Father Fraser, well, part of the reason why we do what we do is to put respect on some of the men them name where they don't put no respect for or enough respect for Philip Fraser should be a bigger name in the space based on the body of work that you have done. And not only you person, you have contributed from a production standpoint, the creation of labels that brings other artists and stuff. So we hope that an interview like this and probably other interviews we are going to do before you stop to them things here, people will understand in truth the greatness of Philip Fraser. Yes, I definitely, you know, definitely. Definite. So, I appreciate the man's contribution to the music. Yeah, so one, of, one of the mellowest voices. Sweet, said <laughs> as we tell you. Zane, go on to the work. Yes, I. And, and, and also continue to, to, to put the music in places where someone will not think the music there. 
Definitely, definitely, See? brother. Yeah, man, it's yeah, a man. joy. Hearing the man's journey and the personality bubbly and nice, said you wife. I still get a look of bad boy sense from Sir Fraser still. You can't tell me nothing you don't have a feeling. <laughs> the feeling was a step about that, but we don't have to get into that. <laughs> Watch this now. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Looks is deceiving, eh? There's no place I go and people afraid of Philip Fraser. Don't see me afraid of the car. I don't love laugh, laugh. It's all for real for me, laugh. So I'm on this with me, I'm serious and serious. So. And then, I look back at my old Greenwich Farm bad man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, not like that. I say I grew up in it, but you yes. know, I never did take it to no level that you understand. But as I said, people still see people and still have that fear. But I don't know if it's because the people them that are growing, right. the people them that are growing, it's fearful. Right, right. They don't laugh more than so, and they do de dangerous yes, things. Dangerous things. You know, but yeah. I'm a humble rasta youth, man. Just they are dealing with me with it. Right, Father <laughs> Fraser, give thanks, great yes, man. man. Yes, yeah, man. And I said, great man. Yes, yeah, that's right. I mean, I know often them say it, but. Based on what the man has done and is doing, Philip Fraser is a great man to the music. Yes, I respect man. the man's Yeah, man, respect and thanks very much. In a real yeah, life. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Blessed every time. All right, man. I give you know time. Teach them will never let it go. Teach them. Teach them will never let it go. Teach them. I've got to hold on every day, in every way, listening to teach them in every way. I teach them and let them understand. That you are the general, the number one. Teach them. I, hey, you man, Philip Fraser and Darcy, you know. Teach them. Make them know and see and read and listen and understand. Say, so teach them. I do the thing. You hear that? Teach them. Hey, yo, hello. Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them.